How do I add a file parameter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.3. To get started, let's go ahead and create a brand new pipeline job. Click on new item and let's call this file and select pipeline and click OK. Just to get started out here, what we're going to do is just use the sample pipeline hello world and then click on pipeline syntax. Now, when you're creating a job to use a file parameter, you would think probably you would use a parameter called file. And in fact, if we take a look at the declarative directive generator and select parameters and click on add, we will see a file parameter. But that file parameter actually only works with non-pipeline jobs. In order to use a file parameter with pipeline jobs, what we need to do is install the file parameter plugin. And if you see here at the top, it offers alternative types of file parameters that are compatible with pipeline. So on this controller, I've already installed this plugin. If we take a look at the plugin again, we have two options. We have a base64 file parameter and we also have a stashed file parameter. For this video, we're only going to be taking a look at the base64 file parameter. So let's go back over to pipeline syntax. And in this case, let's go ahead and select base64 file. Now we have two fields here to choose. We have name and we have description. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and give it a name of file. And the description is what file would you like to upload? And then click on generate declarative directive. What we see here is we start with base64 file. We have our description and then we have the name file. Let's go ahead and copy this over and put this into our job. So we'll put it in between agent and stages. And now we need to make some changes to our stages. Before we make those changes, let's go back over to our documentation for file parameter. If we take a look at the section for usage in declarative pipeline, we can see that we're starting with our base64 file and then we have two ways we can look at this. We can do it with file parameter small, which is the small based on base64 file. And we can cat it out by using this closure with file parameter. However, we can also just use the echo of the file and then pipe it out to base64. So what happens when you upload the file, it's going to base64 that file. And then once we're inside of the job, then we can access that base64 string and either load it directly from memory, which is what we're doing here with echo file, or it will get uploaded into a temp directory and then processed here. So let's go back over to our job and let's get rid of this stage that exists here. And let's add in our stage one and stage two. What we're going to do with stage one is we're going to use the temporary file. And in this case, we're going to cat out the file using the variable file. And the same thing roughly for stage two, except in this case, we're just going to echo out the value because when we run the upload, it's going to get loaded into the environment variable file, which is processed here and then base64 it out. So let's click on save. Now, what we'll see here is it still says build now. If we take a look at configure, right now we do not have any parameters set up. So what we need to do first is let's run the job one time without any parameters and we expect this job to fail because that variable was never set. However, if we go ahead and refresh the job now, what we can see is we now have build with parameters. Let's click on build with parameters. What file would I like to upload? Well, I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go over to my home directory and then let's click on test YAML and click on open and then let's click on build. So as job number two starts up, what we're going to see is it was successful with the first one using with file parameter. We're catting out the temp file, but it's able to figure that out because we're using with file parameter and we see the output from there. In the second example where we were not using with file parameter, we were just echoing out the string and then it was piped out to base 64 and then we get the final output that matches exactly what we saw from the temp file. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.